What's up guys? Happy Wednesday. We are back. It is Wednesday night. Time for our Facebook Live. If you're new here, I am Dr. Corey Offner. I'm a doctor of physical therapy as well as a strength and conditioning coach and a past personal trainer and I'm here to help people improve their mobility as well as also you know reduce their pain as well as kind of get to their goals especially with the new year kind of here coming along um, so we're gonna talk about the continuum of tendon pathology tonight um, so there might be some kind of crazy words mixed in there don't worry about that we'll break down the terminology for you but in general there's three main stages we want to think about stage one is reactive tendinopathy stage two is tendon disrepair and stage three is going to be de degenerative tendinopathy and those are important to know which stage you're in because the treatment is going to be different for all three of those. And don't worry, stay tuned in the next couple of weeks while we go through the month of January. We're going to cover the actual treatment for each of these stages in separation from each other. Okay, so keep an eye on that. Uh, but tonight is just about kind of diagnosing your Achilles tendonitis and kind of seeing where you are. And really what we should start with is what's the difference between a tendonitis and tendinopathy, right? The two get interchanged so kind of quickly and so much in the research. Tendinopathy really just means that there's some, you know, um, swelling going on and it might be a little bit painful in the area. It doesn't mean that there's inflammation involved. It just means that if there's proteins, small little proteins called proteoglycans that get flushed into the extracellular matrix of the cell and that actually makes it look like it's swollen. But it's actually a good thing. It means it's healing and it's repairing. So let's start with stage one, right? Reactive tendinopathy. How does it happen? It happens from overload of any nature. It could mean that you just went out for a run and you ran like six miles and you normally run one mile, right? And that just means that your tendon's load capacity, tolerance level couldn't quite hold that, right? It just means it was a little bit too intense for that tendon at the time, a little bit too much for it. Um, the other way it can happen is if you took a nice long extended break, we say you go to vacation um, with your family, maybe you're down in Florida, you're uh, you know, a southern bird, right? You wanna get away from kind of the snow in the northeast um, like, like I do. Um, and you know, you, you take this extended break for two weeks, then you come back to doing your normal workouts, um, but then you suffer an injury and you, you feel like you're limping and you can't really walk. Boom, that's stage one, that's reactive tendinopathy, right? And it's again, it's not swelling, it, it's, not, it's not inflammation. There's a little bit of swelling that I guess kind of leads into it, but it's just kind of water rushing into the area. And it's also a little protein kind of building up in that area. Uh, meaning that's a good thing, like I said, that it can heal and recover. Because usually it takes about 48 weeks and you're gonna have a lot of pain in this acute stage. Um, which is reactive tendinopathy okay sometimes it can also happen this is the third way it can happen from changing in your footwear right sometimes people change their footwear and they change to something where they go to like a, a shoe with less support maybe a different sole so the sole's a little bit stiffer in, in nature um, or sometimes they have a lower heel set point um, you know they move from a big like hoka shoe or a big under armor shoe which had big heels on them um, some of the other running shoes like brooks do too maybe they move to more minimalist shoe like new balance um, and that, if it changes that big heel, it's going to kind of change their kind of foot position when they land, when they're walking and they're running. So they're going to go from being in a plantar flex position like this, where the Achilles tendon is shortened, right, to being more like this, where it's getting stretched, which can irritate a little bit. Okay, so that's stage one. Again, 48 weeks. It's definitely reversible, which is a good thing. You just have to know the right things to do, and you don't want to overload it too quick. You don't want to underload it either. Okay, so stage two is tendon disrepair. So after that, you know, in the next kind of weeks, sometimes water enters that tendon and it disrupts the way the collagens are lined up. So the collagens are typically lined up in a nice kind of kind of three-way center. Like picture like tic-tac-toe, like three lines, they're kind of parallel to each other. So if water rushes in, it changes up their orientation a lot. And it can happen over a few days where it just gets a lot more painful. Then it becomes hard to kind of actually repair that tendon and it becomes more chronic in nature. Um, but this one will sometimes recover a little bit quicker than that acute um, tendon um, reactive tendinopathy that we did in kind of stage one. Okay, so that's stage two really quick. And then stage three, the last one is degenerative tendinopathy. Degenerative tendinopathy is really the most chronic version of them all. It's when you've had it for a long period of time. Sometimes it's longer than eight weeks. So it can range from eight weeks to about 12 months in total. And this is when, you know, you're having not, not always pain. Sometimes it's just like the, the kind of tendon's really weak, right? So you can barely do like a double leg heel raise. Single leg heel raise, forget about it, way too, too painful or just too weak to kind of kind of you know manure it up and to do that. Um, so that is pretty much the three stages, you know, broken down pretty quickly in detail. Um, just to recap them again, again, number one stage is the most important one, and it's the one that we most frequently see in weightlifters is reactive tendinopathy. If you have a lot of pain, it's reversible and it lasts 48 weeks. Stage two is tendon disrepair. This one lasts a few days, not as painful, but it can be at some points. And stage three is degenerative tendinopathy where the kind of tendons just, and the muscles, the capsules are just really weak and there's not a lot of pain associated. 
So hopefully that made sense for you guys. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the continuum of tendon pathology by Jill Cook, um, which is taken from studies and she's written books about this as well. Uh, if you want to know more information, comment Achilles tendon down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, follow us on Facebook, you know, follow us on Instagram where we post three to four times a week. Um, we'll be bringing you new content each week. Um, this month of January is going to be all focused on the ankle, mainly the Achilles tendon because we see it so frequently. Um, so pay attention to that. We're going to be keeping coming out with a content based around Achilles tendon diagnosis, like how to know if you have it and how to treat it. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your night.